What's going on everybody? It's the Flying Gozzle or Golf Zell and the first video for the Golf Zell series uh, we're going to go over what is in my golf bag currently. Um, figured it's a good start. I'm currently looking into getting new clubs just basically all new clubs because I've had the same ones pretty much for years now and treat yourself you know 2020 not that great 2021 we're gonna have some fun so I'm just going to let's just start with my putter uh, my putter is an Odyssey Metal X um, and it's got the Golf Pride Pro only grip on it I recently switched grips from like the jum kind of jumbo super stroke um, I don't know something with my hands made it feel weird so that's the putter I'm currently using right now I've had it for five six seven years probably and then we'll get into all right so we'll do the wedges next my wedges are a weird combination of they were I used to have like this old hand-me-down wedges and then one wedge my gap wedge from my old set but it was a lot heavier than my irons so I went to Dick's and they had to buy two for 90 or whatever. So I got two top flight wedges. I've got a 52 and a 60 degree. The only clubs that don't have the mid-size white grips is this 60 degree wedge. I use this 60 degree all around the green. Um, I don't know why I just liked the jumbo size grip on there. But then the rest of the wedges and clubs I have all have mid-sized white golf pride double wrap they have a they do have a double wrap so it's a double wrap mid-size uh, it's just perfect for my hands the way that I hold the club and my other two wedges are a snake eyes wedge 58 degree I don't remember why I got I think I had a it was it's a golf galaxy golf smith brand and my uncle gave me a gift card um, just a standard 58 degree wedge Gave me a gift card and then I have a Cleveland forged 56 degree that I almost never use so I think if I do get new wedges I am not going to hit a 56 degree because with the 52 degree gap wedge it goes I think I'll play this for maybe like 120 max I normally try not to swing the full swing it's so like a 120 max, depending on the lie, it'll go then to a pit, like a three-quarter pitching wedge, which is those three-quarter swings are like some of the best shots. Those are some of my favorite shots. I normally play the 52 or the 58 for around 100, just depending on conditions, flag, how I want to fly it, so on and so forth. And then, you know, the 58 to 60. Um, inside of 100, 60 probably inside of 50, and mostly all around the green. So that's the putters, that's the putter and the wedges. Now going to the irons. I only have six irons, four through pitching wedge without a nine iron. Long story short, I lost it on a golf course and I never had to hit that club again for, because I think I played with my grandpa and I took it out of the, I believe I took it out of the bag to hit a shot, but I ended up hitting pitching wedge and <laughs> I just left it laying there and didn't realize it until it was long gone but for probably seven or eight years maybe even more I have been playing the tailor-made rocket blades to a preferred um, this is my four iron best club in my bag I really just like the thin profile, especially when you're looking down on it, just how thin it is, you know. It's kind of a mix between a blade and a cavity back. The cavity backs are just so wide. Pitching wedge is probably 140 to 150 yards. Um, I haven't been playing much golf, so dep I will find out this year. I'll probably go to simulators and try to get yardages. So the 9-iron was guaranteed a 150 club, 155. 8-iron I play for about 160, 170 max. 7-iron, 170. Uh, more like 175 to 
185, 6 iron, uh, probably 190 to 200 just depending how I'm hitting it that day, 5 iron, 5 iron is definitely 200 to 210, and 4 iron, I think I can get this out to about, 4 iron is 210 and up basically because I use this thing for any situation I get in, if I'm not feeling confident off the tee, I just hit irons off the tee. I'm pretty sure this can get out to 230, 240. Um, normally 220 is like the perfect distance on a par 5 or something for me to just pull it out and feel confident I can hit the green no matter what. Then I've got the Taylor Made Burner Superfast 2.0, still the original head cover. Still the original shaft. You can see it's definitely put in a lot of work just based on the face. Uh, three wood, 15 degrees. Original stiff shaft. Uh, on my driver in three wood, I also have the jumbo size grip in black. I like having the contrasting so I know I'm going to be grabbing like the right clubs out but you know it is what it is uh, recently having not as much confidence with the three wood uh, just based off of changing my swing and how my I rotate just the regular stiff flex shaft it 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 doesn't quite keep up so I'm like I'm kinda drawing it and snap hooking it a lot or just straight up pulling it and I really have to, and it really, I have to like change my whole swing to try to hit a, hit it straight or fade it or just not swing as hard. And when I took it to the Golf Galaxy, they, and I told them, hey, can I just get, you know, an extra stiff shaft put in this? They don't make shafts in this diameter anymore. So, um, I'm probably going to have to get a new three wood, which is very unfortunate. But, you know what? It is what it is because it's, Time to treat treat yourself. And that's why I have this the original head cover on. Because I do have a matching three wood cover of this, but I'm probably just gonna get a new three wood, so there's this is just gonna go sit in uh, my closet or another bag. Driver. Tailor made M1. Just a butte. I have it basically set for a lower ball flight because I normally hit a high. And then a neutral slash fade because I've always hit a fade, but recently I've been kind of drawing it. And then I have the Mitsubishi Chemical Extra Stiff Flex shaft in it with the jumbo grip. Now it has this Mitsubishi Extra Flex shaft in it because I got the new I got a new driver standard extra st extra stiff flex in it. Um, literally the a month after I got it, I went to North Carolina to play golf. First tee box swing hit a great drive, head goes flying off. Uh, basically, there was bad glue or something in it, so it just flew. Played all my rounds there with a three wood or four iron off the tee. Uh, brought it back, had them. They reglued it. It was fine for about another maybe month, and then I was playing a par five. Pulled it out, and it the shaft snapped inside of the hosel. So then I went back. I'm like, look, this thing is broken twice in two months, two three months, whatever the time frame was. I was like, I'm not very happy with it what can we do and they're like well da -da 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 -da. I was like can I just get like a different shaft to see if it'll hold up so they got me this heavier shaft um, still extra stiff better shaft I haven't had any problems with it since this oh actually this does not have the jumbo because this year 
I just want all my grips to be the same now. So this is just your mid-size double wrap, the same as all my irons and most of my wedges, <laughs> except for my 60 degree. So when I get a, a new 60 degree, maybe, depending on what goes on, I'm thinking I might still do the jumbo wrap on the 60 just because I've got bigger hands and that's how I feel. So that's my bag. My my yardages for my three wood and driver are unknown. My three wood, um, I want to say off the deck, I could probably hit it about 250, 260-ish, maybe more. I normally don't hit three wood off the deck. Most courses around here, I can just go driver, iron. Um, my driver last year, I probably played less than 10 times, mostly scrambles, but I've really figured out how to, I don't want to say whip it, but like, I used to have like 125 mile an hour swing speed. It's still like 120, 117-ish. It's still not as fast, but I'm making a lot better contact. I want to say this was definitely averaging over 300 yards last year. Because almost every, almost every par five, I'm hitting probably at max a seven, seven iron in which isn't very far, so it's definitely going over 300 yards. Most par fours, less than <laughs> less than a nine iron, um, especially the courses that I normally play at, which I'm hoping to do more videos of. I did take this to the simulator at Golf Galaxy just to, I wanted to see if I should change the sliders or anything. And I was, after my work, I was kind of drawing it, which I normally have always just hit a fade. A nice little baby power power baby fade whatever and most of them starting out they were drawing but it was right after work pretty much so sore and stiff and then after i warmed up they were going pretty straight and then i could just f not force myself but i could then i could hit i was hitting that fade and i got one out to about 340 345 and the rest of them were about you know 310 320 um there were some that were a little bit less, but then I was, the way that those tees are set up, they have the ball so much higher than I normally like it. So I'm literally having to change my swing, but yeah, so I can probably get this out to 350 or more if I'm in a, if I, my body's feeling better. But yeah, so that's what's in my bag right now. Changes are probably coming, probably have to gonna do another video soon. But uh, thanks for watching the video. If you have any other questions, Leave comments down below. Um, gonna do putting videos probably next, or go to simulators to go over my bag and the distances that I hit them. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And the rise of Golfzell has begun.